Alrighty, so we're going to review another book. It's a pair of, um, an honor book, an award. Um, not familiar with the Pura Bel Pere Award, but it looks pretty cool. But so it's another monster, Mama One Two Three More Four and More review. Los Gatos Black on Halloween, written by Marisa Montes, illustrated by Yuyi Morales. Has our cute kitties. So couple things that are great about this book as far as so first thing of course you notice is that it's got kind of spooky art so this is for older kids already you can kind of tell from just the the facing and expiration and we have dual languages Los Gatos being Spanish and English it's a Halloween book obviously which I know it's shocking right um, published by Honey, Henry Holton Company. So, the thing I like about it is that it's got the rhyming. So, eyes of green on Halloween, and they gleam, and sometimes scream. And it's got um, Spanish sprinkled out through it. So, los gatos, ojos, um, and things like that. The art's very, um, it's not static. So you can see how you can, there's the flowing of the movement, I think. That's something I like, that there's little kitty cats on all of the pages, pretty much. Yeah, here's a kitty cat. So it can be a little bit of a game to find the cats, which I like, actually. Because my kiddos don't know Spanish. And they weren't super into the Spanish portion, but I have to say, I loved that it has pronunciation on the back here in the glossary. And it tells you what it is if you couldn't tell from the um, context. So, mi de noche, for night, midnight. and Fantasma, things like that. And it's got a lot of, it's just, there's a lot of implied movement in each of the pictures. And the story itself is really cute. Um, I had to kind of explain it to my kiddos, so they might have been a little bit young for this one. Um, especially my four-year-old. But I thought it was fun. It's, it's right on that edge of cute and spooky. Where it is a little bit spooky because it's actually implying that goose, ghosts and ghoulies are real. And we've got these these go the, the skeletons going on their trips. But I think it's really cute. It's got a lot of good cartoon. I said um, the writing, I would say, is probably a little bit on the higher kid level. So it's, um, you might want to have an older child for it. The art is fantastic, and I said if you have a really sensitive child, maybe not so much, and it's got a good feeling for a start, middle, and end, so it's enjoyable as a story. And I said it's got a little bit of a twist that I won't explain, so you can check it out, but I liked it, and when I explained it to my kiddos, they liked it too. I said, I think particularly my four-year-old was a little bit young to understand it but yeah. lively Halloween poem introduces a spooky array of Spanish words that will open your ojos to the chilling delights of the season so I recommend it for anybody who likes Halloween anybody who likes multicultural particularly maybe a little bit of Spanish and it's just a fun Halloween book. So, just a little bit spooky. So, if your babies are not quite babies anymore and are ready for an older book, this is a good one. And said they enjoyed it once I explained the story to them. So, I think if they were a little older, they would have been able to enjoy it on their own. So, giving it 
a thumbs up here. Thanks so much for listening and you have a wonderful day.